Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Voxel Twig, and today we're back in my time at Sandrock for our number five biggest difference between Porsche and Sandrock. Today, we are talking to our good friend, Mr. Chi here. He runs the research center, and today it's all about research. Now, if you remember, ooh, what's this? Oh, we can figure out when his birthday is. Now, if you guys remember my time at Porsche, you would give Petra her data disks, however many she wanted, 5, 10, or 15, sometimes 20. And then she would tell you how long it would take, and then you would just have to wait and see what you were going to get. It was always a surprise, like a box of chocolates. You never really know what you're going to get. In my time at Sandrock, they changed all that. One, to make it a much more personalized experience, to how your gameplay goes. And two, I think just to make it easier. So if you look, I have completed all the research in the closed beta. However, you can pick what you want to research in what order. You no longer have to leave it to chance. So if you wanted to, you know, get the due collector before a civil processor or a regular processor, you could do that if you wanted to. So you would click on it. It would tell you, you know, this is how many data disks it costs. This is how long it takes. And you can speed it up in whatever you want to do. But you, the biggest thing is you can pick the order that you want. And for anybody watching this before you start playing early access, this is going to be basically about what I th would say is the best order. And the minute you unlock the salvage yard and can go into the ruins and start getting data disks, you want to make sure that every single day you are researching something at the research center. Okay, now it's going to be. The order is going to be slightly, it's going to slightly change based on what your priorities are, but in terms of making sure that you don't get soft locked out of being able to complete things and you're waiting around, really what you would want to do is you would want to immediately go processor, grinder, recycler, furnace, okay? The processor and the grinder, they're going to make sure that you can really make anything that you want. And then from there, silver recycler and silver furnace for two reasons one that's the only way that you can get iron is with the civil products that's the first big thing two each one can queue up 12 things the regular recycler and furnace can queue up 10 thing number three you can queue up two different things okay the regular furnace and recycler you can queue up 10 of one item so if you wanted to make 10 in the recycler if you wanted to do 10 wood scrap done in the civil recycler, you can say you want to do 12 wood scrap, and then when that's done, queue up 12 iron scrap, and then it'll go until it's all completed. So these first four, I would go for immediately. If you do those right away, you'll have all of them well before you even unlock iron. And from there, you could take some time and you could, I would do the do collector, if depending on where you're at. If you have a lot of money, which you know, money is not the easiest thing to get in Sandrock. Like, I, I've, I have a good chunk, but I've done commissions, I think, every single day since I started playing. And it's just not easy to come by. The, and the reason I say that is because you can pay for water from the water salesman, Burgess. Or if you have dew collectors, they usually produce about one to two dew a day. And then you need ten dew to make one thing of water. So if you wanted to unlock the dew collector early... And, you know, put down a bunch of them. Like right now, I think I have six or seven. Just always getting due to always get water so I don't have to spend as much money. Because really, early on, you're going to have a lot more space than you need in your workshop because you're not going to have a ton of machines. So if you wanted to get the due collector and have a bunch, a few of them, save you some cash in the long run. Next thing I would really recommend is if you wanted to get the drying rack because with the drying rack you can put meat and salt on it and then you can get jerky which restores your stamina and unlike porsche that took days the drying rack here i think it's about 15 10 15 hours and then a full stack of 10 meat gets dried so really it'd be one two three four do collector i would say five okay then i would come out and get the drying rack then i would do a civil processor civil grinder and really, once you have these two unlocked as well, you're pretty good for the rest of the game, honestly. Like, story content-wise, at least getting those out of the way, I'm, I'm sure with early access, there's going to be more down here, like industrial and electric, but I would prioritize these, and then maybe take some time, smell the roses, get the other stuff. The firepower generator is great, because you don't have to apply power to every individual item. You could just power this, and it powers everything. You don't need conductive flooring. You don't need to connect anything. It just does it for you, okay? 
Next up on the list is going to be up to you. The forging machine is going to be really important because that's where you're going to make your iron and your steel weapons. Okay, so if you want that, that's where you're going to go with your forging machine. Jewelry maker and the tailoring machine is kind of for fluff pieces. They're less. The jewelry maker is less important. That's really just going to be for making jewelry for accessories. The tailoring machine, though, if you have the forging machine, you're probably going to want the tailoring machine because you need the tailoring machine to make certain leathers that you might need for bindings on your weapons. Now, next up we have our ore refinery. From here, you can throw ores in and get other products back. And at the end of this, I'll take us back to the workshop and show you what that's all about. But that's key for the refiner, which is where you upgrade your items. I showed you guys that in the item quality video. They use the refiner to upgrade item qualities. And then down here, we have the blender and the cooking stations. Um, I, I got the apprentice and then the chef's cooking station and skipped the apprentice. I just, I never built it. I just went right for chefs. The blender, just like in Porsche, you can use it to make fertilizers and things. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to run over because the ore refinery is a brand new thing. So let's run over to the workshop and take a look and see what that's all about. All right, here we are at the beautiful ore refinery. So here, we, here you have it. All of these require 10, okay? It requires 10. So with 10 stone, we're guaranteed to get one quartz. High chance to get one bloodstone and guaranteed one dregs. Takes an hour. Copper, dre quartz, fluorite, and dregs. Tin gets us lapis. Iron ore gets us rose stone and six quartz. Quartz, you get a whole bunch of good stuff. You can get fluorite, bloodstone, lapis, and rose stone. And all four of these things, these are what you are going to use. This and quartz is what you use to upgrade your materials, your tools, your weapons, all of it. And then broken power stones gets you power stones and dregs. So that's what the ore refinery does. And it really goes hand in hand with the uh, the uh, refiner here. Because we need two, two rose stones to upgrade our iron. We need quartz to upgrade this. Just all kinds of good stuff. So that is going to be it for today's video on the research order, you guys. If you liked it, please leave me a like and a comment down below. And if there's more that you want to see or more little quick guides, little bite-sized pieces of sand rock, let me know down below. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified when we upload our video. You can stay on top of our current My Time at Sand Rock playthrough. We are picking up right where the beta left off, and I cannot wait to see what the rest of this game has to offer. And as always, you guys, I am Voxel Twig, and I will catch you all next time.